Hi, I'm Randy Vance. Today I'm on board Grady White's newest member of the Coastal Explorer series. This is the 231. Now I've been on their 281 and their 251, which does happen to be my favorite of the three. But what impresses me most is how much they've packed into this 23. There's so much comfort for your family and so much hardcore fishability built in. You need to come aboard with me so I can show you how they did it. The 231 shaves two feet from the 261, but as you move around the boat, it's easy to forget it's slightly smaller. The helm station is borrowed from the 251, making space for dual 12-inch GPS displays and housing a head underneath. The two-person leaning bar comes from the 251 as well, and it boasts storage on the port side and a 25-gallon live well on the starboard. Grady White has also provided knife and tool holders on the back side of the leaning bar. Four rod holders on the hardtop expand rod storage provided by three on the transom, two on each gunnel, and four standing rod holders at the bow. A stern is a pair of jump seats with Grady's unique patented swinging back rests. Swing the port side seat back inward to give access to the swim platform to port, and both swing inward to give clearer casting access aft. Grab rails near each one add comfortable security in bumpy water. A new feature the 231 has is a transom designed to accept not just one, but two power poles. Without having the 251 side by side with a tape measure, it's hard to tell exactly where the 231's cockpit is at all smaller, a sign of a well-planned downsized design. Moving forward, the passageway to the bow is spacious and easily accommodates the head compartment swinging door. Seating on the bow platform is spacious and comfortable, especially with the center casting deck in place and covered with a cushion. Seat backs raise forward at the touch of the electrical button and grab rails on the port and starboard gunnels add security. Removing the bow deck cushions reveals an anchor locker and a large double latch 277 quart insulated fish box. It's deeply guttered and sealed and of course drains overboard. There's an easy step up to the bow casting deck that all anglers will appreciate. To round out the seating, there's a jump seat on the front of the console and a shock-supported hatch lifts to reveal an insulated cooler that, you guessed it, drains overboard. The fishability of the 231 is equaled by its performance with Yamaha's powerful 250 horsepower outboard. The motor has integrated power steering and electronic throttle and shift. The CV2 hull has a sharp stem with a dead rise that broadens as it moves aft. The design gives the boat outstanding performance with a top speed in the high 40s and crisp maneuverability. Its shallow 16-inch draft is perfect for working redfish and trout on the flats or backwater creeks and rivers, or just to safely approach your favorite sandbar hangout. The Grady White Coastal Explorer 231 has everything on it you need to put fish in the fish box and smiles on your family's faces. I'm Randy Vance.